So recently, Twitter went berserk on a 19-year-old Swedish model, Emma Hallberg, who many thought was a light-skinned black woman. But turns out she actually is a full-on white girl. After being called out for black fishing, Emma defended Whoa. herself on IG, That's saying crazy. in parts, yeah, the picture is insane there. She said, the left picture was taken two years ago. What is black fishing? It's an online phenomenon where social media and influencers and personalities are accused of using fashion, tans, and other physical features to present themselves as possibly black, biracial, or racially ambiguous. And I 100% think that this is black-based makeup. You're trying to appear as racially ambiguous, which is kind of black-based makeup because you're using the fact that you're coloring your skin and darkening your skin for entertainment, for likes, and to make money and to score brand deals. There are Instagram posts where there are where, where they are celebrating beautiful black women on it, and they have her on it. So it appears that she's like being a fraud. Look, <laughs> there's a model her, or an Instagram person. Her name is Emma Helberg, and she's been accused of black fishing. That's pretending to be black. Mm. Well, someone recently outed her uh, by posting this picture. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well, Jesus. they say that she's making money from brands marketing towards bl black girls. She's an influencer. I see why? She denies everything. Oh God. Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Usually I speak Swedish in all of my videos and that's not gonna change. So for my Swedish followers, nothing's really changed. The reason why I'm doing this video in English is because the girl that we're gonna talk about today, Emma Halberg, is a Swedish model who has become very, very known for something called black fishing. And why I'm doing this video in English is because I believe that most of her followers are English speaking people. And therefore I thought that if there are some people who would like to see this video, but wouldn't understand shit I'd say if, I, if it would be in Swedish. I tried to take it in English and I'm sorry for the way I might pronounce some things but I'll do my best. So you might see a picture of this girl and think that her ethnicity might be mixed. And there are a lot of people who get pretty shocked when they find out that she is fully Swedish, that her parents are Swedish and that she's born and raised here and so on and so is her brother. The reason why people are kind of calling her out is because she has multiple times protected not only the fact that she gets tanned very easily and that she somehow keeps this tan for a full year, <laughs> although <laughs> Swedish weather can be pretty goddamn cold during winter. She also claims not to have made any lip fillers and so on or any changes with herself. And there are just a lot of different things that just seems really, really off. Before I even continue speaking about her, it's really important to me to push on the fact that I don't like doing videos just to be like canceling people or hating on them. Like my main goal is for somebody who sees a video that I made about them and then to come back to me and say like, hey, I actually learned learned something and I understand this and this more which actually happened pretty recently due to another video uh, a Swedish one but and that made me so happy that I could like in a calm way explain for example to Emma why she has gotten the criticism she has and that's what I will be trying to do one aspect that I'd like to give to people who are non-Swedish like English for example or American or whatever is that here in Sweden I would like to say that the kind of racism that exists is usually a question about whether you're an immigrant or not so it's often like if you have like jokes about it or whatever it's not like oh black versus white it's usually like immigrant versus swedish in america i mean based on what i've seen for social medias and so on my image is that the racism there is often more question whether you're a white or black and why i'm telling this is because i think that since emma is born and raised here in sweden i think that she has a totally different view on when it comes to being tanned and having a darker skin and so on on because she probably never experienced that kind of racism and that doesn't justify anything but maybe it explains why she's being so ignorant and so like protective over the fact that why can I just not have a tan or 
a tan, according to her. But let's uh, roll it back a bit. So the word black fishing, let me just shortly explain it. I found this very, very good Instagram post that I thought explained it better than I probably can. So I think that we could just uh, read it through. So what is black fishing? Black fishing definition. A recently coined term used to describe someone accused of pretending to be black or appropriating black culture on social media by using makeup, hair products, and in some cases, surgeries to drastically change their appearance. Those engaging in black fishing have often been seen to cherry pick aesthetics that they see as being stereotypically associated with black women, such as fuller lips, curvier figures, historically and culturally black hairstyles and darker skin. They are also known to capitalize on these features to gain social media attention and to land lucrative sponsorship deals that cater to black audience. I'm sorry for having some issues with the pronouncing here. Controversy. Critics of the trend describe it as a form of cultural appropriation, whereby elements of a minority culture are adopted by those in a more dominant culture without crediting the origin, leaving members of the minority culture feeling oppressed and marginalized. In addition to black fishing being a means to commercialize black culture for monetary slash social gain, black fishing also pursuits, perturates, I'm sorry, I can't read that, colorist ideology by highlighting and favoring these mixed race or racially ambitious women instead of black femmes and dark skinned women. Skin bleaching refers to the use of products to lighten dark areas of the skin or achieve an overall lighter complexion. These products include bleaching creams, soaps and pills, as well as professional treatments like chemical peels and laser therapy. In a number of African countries, between 25% and 80% of the women regularly use skin whitening products. In Asia, this number is around 40%. In India, specifically, over half of the skincare products are also sold to whiten skin. So why is this different from black fishing? A common argument against black fishing is that black women lighten their skin and wear wigs, whilst white women make themselves darker and appreciate black culture for social gain or because it's trendy. Black women lighten their skin or wear wigs out of necessity or adhere to the European standards of beauty imposed by white supremacists. Black women are mistreated, called ugly, or even turned down from job opportunities for the same trends, like darker skin and braided hairstyles, that white women are complimented and praised for. So what's the one thing that has been bothering me, like, especially a lot? That's the fact that now, especially during Black Lives Matter and the movement that's going on, is that this girl, Emma, has taken so much from black culture when it comes to hair, when it comes to, like, details as eyebrows, lip fillers, because she has filled her lips, and that's a fact skin color, and etc. There are so many factors that she has been taken from black culture, and yet still, during Black Lives Matter, she didn't say a word until her followers started raising an eyebrow. Because a lot of her followers have actually been thinking that she's a girl that has some mixed race, or some maybe one white parent, one black parent, and so on. And some people were actually amazed by the fact that, okay, and she's not saying a word about this movement. And the reason is probably because she's never been a affected by it. She's never been affected by racism. She's never been affected by the fact that she's grown up as white. Here are some pictures from her childhood and I mean this this was her skin color when she grew up. Also her hair was straight. I'm not gonna go too hard on her hair because hairs can absolutely change during the years. It was really 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 difficult to find a lot of pictures of her because she's pretty much refused to post any pictures of her childhood. So scroll down to her Instagram and she is already mixed from the start. There are like just a few few pictures that are circulating on the internet. This is probably the only childhood picture that I've seen. And then there is this really really famous one, which is this one. And this is probably the picture that everyone is using to compare when it comes to saying that, okay girl, you're white, so why are you trying to be something else? Here's a tweet that kind of describes uh, the way I feel about her. White girls, if you want to pass as black, how about using your platform to address the injustice and discrimination actual black people face. Don't just appropriate, appreciate the people you're imitating. And this is a point that I'm trying to make here. Emma did not say a word until a lot of people started criticizing her. And there is a Swedish YouTuber and comedian, uh, Philippen, who tweeted about her. And 
after that tweet she got a lot of criticism from Swedish people because there are actually not that many Swedish people who follow her. Most of her followers are from worldwide like. But after that tweet and also combined with the Black Lives Matter movement and people actually being like, wait, are you white? That's when she decided to answer some of this criticism in a post. So she posted this 31st of May. Long caption, I hope everything's good with you all. I haven't been as active as I used to be here on Instagram these past couple of days because I felt like I need to think about how to address everything that's been going on and how to do it in the best way. Which I think is a fine start. Of course you should be reflecting and think about how you approach the criticism you're getting, especially when it is in such a huge range. I have never thought about being quiet about this and I know a lot of people have had their opinions about that. Some people might think that I don't even have the right to talk about this due to all the rumors about me. One detail here is that I have no idea what kind of rumors she's referring to because there is a lot of things that are actually facts and I'd like to know what rumors she's like referring to here but yeah she doesn't really type that. Let's continue. But I do not care about what people say or think about me. I post this because I want to. Let me just start off with that there are not enough bad words for me to describe how disgusting that I am but what happened a couple of days ago to George Floyd. Another innocent black person that got murdered on open streets by a white cop without any reason. How disgusted I am in general of the American police of how they are treating black people. Actually the word disgusted is not even enough to describe the rage, anger and sadness I feel inside of me as soon as I see something like this happen. People are being killed and treated different due to the color of their skin in 2020 and it keeps happening every single day even though you might not see it be it filmed or on social media. I just wish there were more I could do than just to write a post on Instagram and hope it reaches as many people as possible. That's why everyone needs to spread the word. In this situation even the smallest gestures matters. A story, an email, a post, a share, anything. This topic should not be laid to rest until everyone is equal and I stand by that. Even if you might not see or read this I'm still praying for all of you no matter if you like me or not. And lastly to the people that don't follow me and have not seen any of my previous posts about this problem that's been going on but still gives me hate for not saying anything. Focus more on spreading awareness about what you're angry for at me for not spreading. No time is too late. Hashtag Black Lives Matter BLM justice for George Floyd. So the comment section weren't that impressed by her post. I'm gonna give her the fact that it's good that she's raising awareness of what's happening. The only problem is that this came after she got criticized for not doing it and she claims to has done it a multiple times which I honestly don't believe in. Her Instagram contains a lot of just clothing collaborations with Fashion Nova, pretty little thing, pretty much same kind of companies when it comes to clothing. So someone wrote, you appeared on a page called Africans that slay five times and each of those posts included the hashtag Black Lives Matter hashtag. What previous posts have you made to raise awareness? You realize you're a part of the problem though, LMAO. We want you to stop wearing blackface. Can you hear us? Okay, I have to switch clothes because it got too warm. So there's this one thing that a lot of people have been saying. The only problem for me is that I haven't been able to find proof of it, but many people have been saying that she she used to have the word mixed in her bio, although she is fully Swedish, which if you ask me, is being white. So there's this girl who wrote this in Swedish. She said, you're so problematic, do you know that? You live on pretending being black and having it in your Insta bio and saying that you're mixed. Please wash away your sunless tanning and be yourself instead. And the fact that you're putting this up after Philip Dickman criticized you is very fucked up. I'm so tired of you. And someone also commented on what she actually can do because she mostly wrote on her post that, yeah, I don't know what to do. So someone actually is like, like, yeah, share links to petition, place people can donate, what to bring to protest, people of color artworks and poetry as a way to educate your followers, how to protest safely, etc, etc. A lot of good ideas if you ask me. But apparently this just doesn't come through to her. One thing that personally bothers me is the way she kind of protects herself in the comment section. I'm just gonna point out though that some of these comments might be a bit old, but I still think they're important to share with you because I believe that they say a lot of the way she is seeing the situation herself and the way she is just constantly trying to protect herself when people are questioning her. So this is a comment where Emma answers where someone is questioning the way she looks and questioning whether like if it's real or not, can you at least share if it is and so on. And she said, I have not. I know in today's society it's hard to believe that there are still people who haven't done anything to their parents, but I am one of them. I've never gotten fillers or anything at all. Sorry, this is so hard to take seriously. And in fact, yes, 
that is my natural skin as well. <clears throat> and people still would not believe me, but that's fine. I really don't care what you think about me. Just don't say things that are not true about me. I just think that it's sad how much time people spend worrying about me for me. It's crazy. Let's just point out that I don't think that people are actually worrying about Emma. I think people are worrying about her behavior because she has so many followers and she's kind of just spreading the fact that it's okay to make your skin look a bit darker just because it's nice and you feel like it without any form of response responsibility versus people who actually have that skin color they can't just like wash it away when they feel like it that's their skin color so i actually think people are not bothered about you emma i think people are bothered about your actions and let's just discuss one thing also the fact that she's saying she hasn't done anything to her appearance is extremely extremely hard for me to believe a lot of people that i know have done lip fillers and honestly that's their choice but when someone is asking her have you done it just because they'd like to know oh you're Swedish but you got so fully lips which is kind of unnormal if you look like ethnically and she's like yeah I haven't done anything that for me is pure bullshit and I don't have like a hundred percent proof that I have like a picture of her going to a clinic and doing it but I mean let's just look at the pictures this is a picture from her teenage years and if you zoom in on the lips I mean I would say that's how they look nothing special I know it's hard to like take a, a child photo and then trying to compare that child photo with a photo where she's grown up because I mean people's lips can obviously grow but I also believe that this child photo says a lot about how her for example bone structure was um, did she have like just a bit more fully lips than for example her classmates and so on and no I don't think that lips go from a bit and then during the years just go like Ooh, but that's my theory let's take the very very famous picture that uh, a lot of people use uh, when they compare her skin color and just look at her lips you can see that nobody's upper lip usually go above their under lip unless they usually have fillers some people have it naturally but if you look at all her previous photos she doesn't have that and it just suddenly came during the years god knows how but i think that you can easily see when someone has kind of, you know, built up a lip. I mean, I've seen people <laughs> do lip fillers. I've been with previous friends who have done lip fillers. I know how it's like when they sculpture your lips, what they do to like press it in and fill it and to make it look as natural as possible. The fact that she wouldn't have any lip injections or so on, that for me is extremely hard to believe. The only thing that I can see that she maybe could have done is to use like, what is this called? Is it called a lip plumber? The ones when you're kind of just sucking your lips and then she uses it like all the time. That's maybe an explanation if anything but otherwise I'm pretty sure she's using lip fillers which is also like one of the many things that bothers me is her constant denying of her being naturally tanned of her having naturally filly lips and so on because I don't mind people doing changes to their appearance that's totally fine but when it's a lot of details that kind of sums it up and then points to the most obvious thing which is that you're trying to be someone you're not which is getting a lot of inspiration from black culture I mean it's her life in the end of the day but as a lot of people say the most irritating thing is when she doesn't take responsibility for for example black lives matter movement and so on which should be an obvious and clear thing to do like from day one when you find out about it the fact that she starts her post with saying i don't know how to write this right is because she doesn't know what's right this picture is so bothering because it's like the foundation you use it's, it's not even close to your own skin color she personally says that she's using that just because she wants to match the rest of her body but god knows what you've used to make your body also look tanned and darker and so on because obviously that's not your natural color i mean for me i'm a middle eastern girl who easily gets tanned but i mean it's summer and i'm still pretty light okay so i don't buy that excuse like at all if this was just her experimenting with herself, not bothering anyone and so on. That would probably also be another thing because then it wouldn't be to an extent where she's affecting other people. One thing that I commented under that post that she posted about George Floyd, it was in Swedish, but I will translate it. Emma, this is not any form of hate, it's just criticism. You're taking a person of color space by as a white and Swedish person, still taking modeling collabs for which could have gone to someone who is actually a person of color for real. The fact that you probably 
necessarily think that this kind of way of looking makes you attractive doesn't automatically makes you entitled for it because there are sides in a person of color's lives that you probably never even got to feel, experience or see. Don't take that spot from anyone who maybe worked years to make themselves feel secure and beautiful in their skin. And that's something that you should too, please at least try. You're beautiful without the sunless tan, please stop it. And that's something I still stand by. I do think that Emma is a really beautiful girl. I don't feel like she needs to tan herself constantly, use all these products to make her skin look darker and so on. I think she's a very beautiful person. What bothers me is that when she takes these kind of modeling collabs or just collabs on Instagram posts and so on, and then the companies repost it as a way of trying to make more people of color included on their Instagram page or not just people of color, but black people as well when in fact this is a Swedish girl that is what bothers me because then it's like there is not a real including here it's all fake she takes so many collabs she's obviously making a living for this and there are so many like Swedish influencers who are like oh you're so beautiful and so on and they're actually like l supporting her which does bother me she's kind of changed her opinion for example when it comes to her hair she's gone from saying like yeah I actually sleep with braids and that's why it's curly and then she said like oh it's actually naturally curly and I think she's got so many lies that she doesn't even like catch up with them I mean she can go from looking like this in a behind-the-scenes picture and then posting a picture like this how did you <laughs> how did you uh, I'm not gonna lie, I could talk forever about this girl because there's so much to say. So I'm gonna link two videos down below. One is from the 423, one is from NBC6. I'm gonna cut in a few bits from these videos because I think that they explain way better than I can do. Obviously English is not my first language and I sometimes find myself stuttering because I'd like to explain something but I'm not really fully capable of doing it which kind of makes me irritated by myself. But I think someone else might explain this just a bit better than I will. So he has just a better explanation of the entire Emma situation. The influencer who kicked off this whole situation was Emma Halberg, and she just replied to all of the speculation going on around her a couple of hours ago. She posted 13 different Instagram stories, starting with Let Me Explain, where she made excuses for her transformation over the past few years, and I'll include all of those Instagram stories here. As you can see, Emma's first argument is that she tans naturally and that her before picture was taken before summer in 2016, while the pictures she takes where she looks darker are after coming home from a vacation. She also includes photos of her brother and her dad showing that they're tan in an effort to prove that her family has skin that gets dark easily. Emma claims she's not gotten spray tans, taken melatonin pills, which I'm assuming she means melanin because melatonin helps you sleep, and she says she's never gotten lip injections either. Next, she shows a video of her mom's hair and the caption says, for those who don't believe my mother's hair is curly and that white people can't have naturally curly hair, which in my opinion is extremely condescending because obviously nobody thinks that white people can't have curly hair but this just proves that she has no idea what's going on. She also shows a video of herself and her damp hair straight out of the shower, which unsurprisingly is curly. She ends her story by saying she doesn't get sponsorships and collaboration because of her skin color, but how she styles her clothes and creates makeup looks. You got that right. She gets sponsorships because of how she styles her clothes. <sighs> Okay. So to talk about the tanning issue first, I believe that she gets tanned during the summer. I don't think anyone was ever denying that. But as everyone's addressing in the makeup tutorial, if her tan was always natural and she never did spray tans, her face would be the same color as her entire body. She claims in another piece of her Instagram story that her face is lighter than her body because she has a lot of acne and scarring and uses peels and toners to get rid of that. I mean, toner is supposed to even your skin, not lighten it, and I watch a ton of beauty gurus who are obsessed with skincare and none of them bleach their face to get rid of acne scars. All right, so she shows this picture specifically saying she's so dark because it's right after vacation. Bet. Going through a profile, that photo was taken on July 31st, 
Cool. So let's scroll through her profile then. All right. So on July 13th, she says first stop Verona. So on the first day of her vacation, she's already dark. Okay. Maybe she was hanging by the pool a lot back home in Sweden, you know, where the temperature between June and August doesn't usually go over 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know, man. I mean, here's a picture from June, still tan as hell. May, still pretty tan. Even all the way back to January, she's still looking pretty dark. Summer must be super long in Sweden, huh? Not to mention this post where she actually tags a product, helping her get a darker tan. Emma is also alleging that her hair is natural and she never wears wigs, right? Except in these posts where she actually tagged the wigs that she's wearing. But when her curls go from a 2A to a 3C overnight, that's natural. I swear y'all, her hair naturally looks like this. And this. And this. I mean, her man also seems to be a non-black person out here rocking braids, so at least she's found her soulmate. I don't even want to roast this girl, but explaining your cultural appropriation and not taking responsibility for it at all does not make it any better. It's almost worse that she seems to genuinely not understand why she's wrong here. Anyway, I don't think Emma did literally anything to help her in this situation. If anything, she kind of made it worse. Wanda Thompson, a freelance writer who sparked a viral conversation about blackfishing, tells us what it's all about. In this case, a lot of these women are from Scandinavian countries, very pale looking, but you could never tell that just looking at their Instagram or their pictures. But they deepen their skin so much that a lot of people are confused on their race. I've said before that black culture is cool, it's hot, it's current, it's trendy, but what I've noticed is that people don't want to take on the other aspects of blackness when it comes to getting affected by police brutality and other things they want the cool trendy parts of blackness but when it comes to owning up to responsibility or you know um just getting that kind of treatment that black people get typically on a daily basis from authority they don't want that part they just want the aesthetic part which is really alarming to me in a global news article, Dr. Arya Holliday, assistant professor of African feminism at the University of New Hampshire says, quote, they, referring to Instagram models, don't have to deal with the everyday existence of what it means to be a black woman, for example, but they are then parading themselves on social media as such. But do Instagram influencers and models accused of black fishing believe that what they're doing is wrong? Well, we reached out to Emma Hallberg, a Swedish model at the center of the controversy. She didn't respond to our request for comment, but appeared on Good Morning America to defend her Insta aesthetics. Hallberg says, quote, I haven't done anything to make myself look darker. I get the tan naturally when I get out in the sun. The things I've been accused of and the things people are mad about are things that are natural on me. My hair, my nose, my lips, my face. I've never claimed to be black or biracial or anything else than white. As I said previously, there are so many things that I could bring up, but it's honestly just too much. If she posts this picture and seriously hashtag no makeup days as if this face has no makeup, I don't know who she's trying to convince, if it's herself or if it's her followers. I think that what's bothering people mostly is that she's still working with doing modeling, thanks to Elite Model Miami, taking collaborations with Shein, Pretty Little Thing. I mean, the companies are endless and she is literally taking a person of color's place that should go to a model who is actually either a person of color or black. If she wants to continue to model, wouldn't bother me for shit, but as long as she do it as herself. You're fully Swedish, you're white, the outfits that you are wearing and representing are taken from a lot of black culture. My respect for this girl is so, so low, but I'd love to see that change. I truly, truly, truly hope that Emma one day can find herself in a position where she can feel comfortable enough in her own skin. This next last part will be in Swedish, just in case if she's watching. Emma, om du kollar på det här, det är dags att ta åt dig av kritiken för att det är så, så många som har gått förklarat djupt och ingående kring varför det du gör är fel och ändå så fortsätter du som att inget har hänt. Du kommer att få fortsatt kritik tills något förändras och jag hoppas verkligen att du tar åt dig av den här videon. Last but absolutely not least, do not spread hate towards Emma or towards anyone else, but do give criticism because I believe that she needs to hear more facts than just being like, oh girl, stop being black, you're obviously white, because that we already know. But be more concrete. Why is the things she's doing wrong? And explain it from your perspective, as a person of color or as a black person. Or 
more as a white person as well because I, I believe that that's what she needs to hear more because as soon as someone starts hating that's when she easily just says like oh they're haters or this is just rumors when a lot of it is actually facts but she just decides to focus on the negative so don't give her that with that said and done I hope you found this video interesting as I said I'm not doing videos in English this is a Swedish channel usually but if you are an English speaking person I hope you found this video interesting and that you might want to spread it to friends or people who might even know Emma or follow Emma and also give criticism to the companies who actually take collaborations with her because if they want to have a person of color in their branding at least have a person of color who is a person of color <laughs> okay so with that said and done thank you for watching and give it a thumbs up if you liked it dislike if you didn't my Swedish followers I see you in my next video Hello.